The Wounded Warrior amputee softball team was in Lexington over the weekend, and boy did they beat up on the Lexington celebrities. 22 to 6. The team is made up of 25 veterans with amputations due to injury sustained while serving our country. Going into the military, I guess one of the things you learn to expect is that you might die. Um, but one of the things that you really don't think about is losing a limb. When you suffer an amputation or suffer an injury like this, you don't ever think you're going to be out here you know, competing against able bodies and playing at the level that we play at. The vision was, believe it or not, life without a limb is limitless. Um, just because you suffered amputation, you can still achieve some serious goals. I got an email from Dave saying, hey, you, are you interested in that? I said, heck yeah, because all the sports they offered to us before was sitting volleyball, wheelchair this, wheelchair that. I'm like, I can stand, I can run, can do anything any able body can do so. It just opened my mind to so many possibilities with uh, the opportunity to travel around and, and you know tell our stories and stuff like that to all these different places. You know when we travel um, I think there's a lot of crowds that feel sorry for these guys at first but uh, once they see them play for a couple innings um, they realize their life is back to normal. Hey, that's not going to go to his head at all. We all have things that are a little more complicated now than they were before, but um, you just have to keep a good attitude. You know, there's a lot of guys that don't return from the war, so you have to remember that, that you've been given a chance to continue on with your life and continue on to motivate people. And That's like the most powerful thing we can do right there is help other people and kids. Their attitudes probably help some of our team. Just to see them and to be inspired by them. Uh, I mean, some of them had been dealing with amputations since birth. Some of them, uh, I think we had a kid on our team that's six months out from his injury, and that kid had the best attitude that, that I've seen in a long time. You know, that's when you gotta look at and realize what you're doing and realize the opportunity that you have and don't take it for granted.